All right, guys, let's step way outside the comfort zone, at least for me and I know a lot of you guys. But we're going to take a look at some unique, heavily designed style watches here from Louis Arard, Elaine Silverstein collaboration. Hopefully I didn't butcher that stuff too much. This is like the second generation release for these two models. There's a regular day date, essentially three handed. And then there's this one here on the left, which is a regulator style layout. The previous release of these watches were white dials. Now we have the black dial ones with the blue accent. You got the yellow squiggly seconds hand. You have the red hour hands. And then you have that massive oversized white arrow minute hand. So very fun, cool designs. They all kind of tie together, but they're still crazy unique looking. Love the use of materials here and uh, the overall look. Just very fun, highly artistic style watches, I think, but executed great. Okay, let's get into the size. So the case I measure at 40.8 millimeter, so about 40 and a half, essentially. The lug to lug, if you can call that, the lug to lug is 47 millimeter. Then the um, thickness is 12 millimeter. The lug width here is 22 millimeter. And yeah, there is a lug width there. There's actually quick release spring bars on there, which I'm gonna talk about that in a second. And then you have a seven millimeter push pull crown. It's a hundred meter water resist. Now this crown, it's cool. I get it. It works with the whole design concept, but it's terrible to operate. Pulling it out is no big deal. It's just, there's no traction to turn it. It is a slick polished piece of metal still pretty cool 68 grams is the weight has like a apple watch style hook and loop strap system here for infinite adjustability essentially and super comfortable a little bit of flex to it not much two different kinds of titanium used on this case the more satin looking part of the case in the back and the lugs here or the strap adapters is grade two titanium. The full polished bits, grade five titanium. Very cool, I like that. You guys know I like my titanium watches. So if we zoom in here, you can see the clean, colorful, playful design. I love the applied outer chapter ring there with the indices. There's no loom on these, so don't stick around for the loom shot. I kind of want to say it's a missed opportunity because they could have loomed the heck out of this and still kept the design the way it is, but there is no loom. Still wouldn't have been able to get loom on the hour hand and the seconds hand, but we're talking, you know, looks over function here. So sure, it still is going to tell time. It's still a regulator and stuff like that. I think I still would have liked to have the loom, even if it would have just been the chapter and you didn't loom the hands. I don't care. It's just another toy at that point. So another gripe other than the crown is I almost think I would have ditched the um, the bar, the, these bars hitting here, because what it does is they hit the case. So this, this uh, adapter here can only articulate so far, and then those pegs hit the case. If you didn't have those there, they would actually articulate even further down. So it would work even better on a smaller wrist. But that's just being nitpicky. You do have a display case back. This is the regulator style one, so you have like a smaller porthole window there. You can see the custom rotor and a little bit of the movement. The regulator movement is going to be the Solita SW266. These are crazy limited edition. You can see it says one of 178. So they did it with the other releases as well. There's only 178 of them on this run. And in the two-piece kit, which this is a two-piece kit, and it comes with this excellent wood presentation box here that I showed in the unboxing. There's only 28 of those, but they pull from the 178 of the watches. So pretty rare. Just for the heck of it, I went on eBay and searched up Elaine Silverstein, the artist behind this, because he's done collaborations with other brands. Go look it up on eBay you're going to shake your head. You're going to be like, what is going on? Because there are some watches on there listed for 
incredibly high prices. So are they collectible? That's going to be the question. Just because a watch is limited doesn't necessarily mean it's going to go up in value. I'm going to predict that it's fairly safe to say that these are going to continue to go up in value. The previous generation one, the white dial one, these ones, maybe not right away because of just everything that's going on in the world, you know, with the economy and everything. But once we get past that and uh, certain luxury items begin to appreciate again, I think these are going to be highly collectible and it's going to come with a price increase as the inventory dries up on them. Got to remember, there's only 178 of these. And they don't redo this design again. It'll be a different color, or maybe they won't do it anymore. They did the white dial, they did the black dial, maybe they do a blue dial. But they have to be careful because it looks like they're staying with the red and the yellow and the white. So you only have so many options to are going to play with these colors. So there's a potential that they won't even do it again. Also, on this one, on the three-handed one, you have a day date because it's a uh, Salita SW220. So when you pop the crown out and you uh, adjust that, move that out of the way, you also are going to get your day change is that oval smiley face. Well, this one's like a kind of a, well, there you go. You just, you just witness that happen, right? So you got a different, you got a different uh, face there. So they scroll through different designs for the day of the week. And then when the hour comes around, it actually frames in that uh, face. So if we go ahead and go here, see if I can change those, that's the date. So you can see the day change. There's a smiley face with squinty eyes. There's a red smiley face, an open mouth smiley face. Ooh, kind of a frowny face. Maybe that's a Monday, I don't know. So, but winding it, I can still do it. So it's not a massive complaint of the crown because it still actually works. It's just, it's not easy. All right, let's pop this on my seven and a quarter inch wrist so you can see what that looks like. And I'm trying not to make this video go too long, but these are, these are just too dang cool. They're too fun. They're very cool. So if you have the money to spend and you're interested in these, the two piece kit is, um, I don't even know. I don't think that's even right. Cause if you go on the website, it's basically $8,888. They wear amazing. If you buy the individual one, um, Exquisite Timepieces, who sent this in, Nick over there. Uh, if you go to Exquisite Timepieces, I think they have this two-piece kit. I don't know how many they have. It might only just be this one. And I know they think they have just a regulator there. These are like $4,590, so $4,590 if you want to buy just this alone. They do not have this one listed independently. So, and if I were going to buy one, which... I just can't. That's a lot of money um, for me to spend on uh, a watch like this. I absolutely love them. And if they were mass produced and not limited and they were like $2,500, I would own one. 100% I would own one. But I just don't have it in my budget. But if I did, if I had the discretionary income to afford watches like this, I would definitely have these in my collection. These are so dang cool. So... But that's just my opinion. Everyone's going to decide whether they hate them or love them. But you can't ignore them. They're pretty dang cool. Go look it up. Do a little bit of research. So you're getting burned out in the hobby and you don't know what to look for. Go look outside the box. Go check out the brand, Louis Arad. Go check out the artist. Um, was it a Alien Silverstein? Okay. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.